Hello everyone, my name is Emily Golia. I am an actor, singer, and creator here in Los Angeles, and I am so excited to be here with the incredibly talented illustrator, Kathleen Kralowek. Hello. Hello, Kathleen. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank um, you. Before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and show everyone a few of your pieces. I absolutely love that. You are so incredibly talented. Can you tell me how you got started? I got started as an artist, like probably as soon as I could hold a pencil. Really? Um, like a lot of artists will tell you that like maybe their earliest memory is of drawing. I, I feel like I run into that a lot. Um, so I was doing that from a super early age. Um, it was my favorite thing to do in high school. And then I majored in art in college. Wow. Yeah. 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 Where, where were you born? I was born in a little town called Porterville in the Fresno area in California. Okay. Yeah. Great. Awesome. That's not, well, I'm in LA, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you might've heard of it. <laughs> yeah, I've kind of heard of it. Yeah. Um, so what, you say you do a lot of different types of, of different mediums. Can you tell me about them? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I do a lot of different mediums. Um, I draw in pencil a fair amount. Um, I've gotten back into painting with acrylics um, recently. Um, and I've been doing digital for some time. I actually got a master's in digital art and wow. new media. Yeah, that was after college. I went to UC Santa Cruz okay. um, for that program. So do you like, is there a big difference to you with holding like a pencil or paint with your hands and then like drawing on an iPad? There is. I mean, yes. like, I don't I, understand. I mean, I'm, I'm a singer. Yeah. So I like explain this to me. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. I, I, I know what you're talking about. And I, I feel like strangely the, the presence of the undo key is probably the most fundamental difference that there is between digital and not digital because all the other things like, you know, how, how you, you know, manipulate a, uh, an Apple pencil versus a regular pencil or all this, the presence of an undo key to be able to undo the thing you did is like a cosmic, like it's a difference in, in, in like the plane of reality that you're right. working on. And that's of something course. that digital gives you that external from, and all the digital media have an undo key in there somewhere, more right. or less. Maybe there's some that don't, but, uh, in the physical, and, and if you, I think I've heard lots of people say this experience, if you work in digital a long time and then you switch back and are doing something with pencil or watercolor, et cetera, there comes a time when you do something and then your mind says undo and there's no undo key. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I had not even thought about that. That's so fascinating. I just got an iPad and, and have just started, I just like doodle. Yeah, yeah, even yeah. So I'm like, I just draw a bunch of cats. I like love my cat. That's fun. I draw him a ton. That's a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, that is so, it's just, it's such a different feeling. I mean, I can't imagine like as a professional artist, what that difference must be. That's probably really smart that you got a master's in that because it's such a, a different field. I was thinking that when I, when I signed up to do that. I, I was just thinking like, oh, this looks like it was in 2008 and or yeah, that's when I went back to school and uh, it was just sort of seeming like, well, it looks like digital is how a lot of the world is going. Maybe I should specialize in it more. And that was the main reason why I went for the masters. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. yeah. Well, do you have any upcoming projects? Is like, do you work in bigger projects or is it different pieces? Like what's your process? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have an art show that I'm part of in New York City where I live now, um, coming up in winter um, at the Solas Studio, which is, I'm, I'm, I'm a member at that studio. Amazing. Me and a bunch of other artists are having a um, winter showcase. So I'll have a piece in that if anybody is in New York City. And um, an even bigger show, but much further away in the future. In the fall of 2022, um, I'm going to be in a larger art show 
Um, its name is slipping my mind. I'm going to announce it though on my Instagram and everything okay, when uh, when uh, when it's closer to the date because fall 2022 is quite some ways in the future. So there'll be yeah. plenty of time if people want to follow me on Instagram. I'm at Conscious Dust um, okay. on Instagram. Great. Just uh, Conscious Dust. I know conscious is a little hard to spell, but if you if you Google conscious, you can find the spelling and then figure it out. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah. And so I, I have other shows that are scheduled in 2022 and I try and announce everything on my Instagram. Fantastic, that's so helpful. Instagram is so good for those for that reason. It's huge, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and um, wait, what? Oh, I was just gonna ask you like how the pandemic was for you. I mean, did you find it to help your creativity or like all the I'm talking to so many artists and it's been a big mixture of that's into yeah you know, like it, it some people were so stalled or they had moments of creativity and then just moments of sheer panic <laughs> oh yeah 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 um I probably had the probably on the end of that spectrum towards the most positive because for me it was just like totally like all the, all the things that was keeping me so busy were suddenly gone, right. including travel and just every distraction was gone. And I just kind of launched head on into all the things that I never made time for before. And I worked on zines, I worked on poetry, I worked on books, I worked on comics. And then finally, very close to the end, I, I broke out the painting and then got into things that I always thought that I would at some point get back into and had not made the time. Yeah. And so that's where I am. And so I just like, it was like an, in, like an enormous, it's like everything else paused so I could go. I which, love that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm certain that like, there's like a whole giant spectrum and a lot of people who maybe lie at one point or another from absolute nightmare to absolute dream come true mm -hmm. as far as what that was. But I kind of was one of the lucky people who it was like kind of a dream come true in a lot of ways, yeah. which is- I, a very, I feel that too. Yeah. I noticed too, I like got a chance to just stop for a second. Yeah. yeah. It mm -hmm. was really, it was nice. It was nice and yeah, I learned a ton of new skills. I was like, oh, this is great. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Seriously. Well, I, it was so wonderful to meet you. And I'm so glad that you're gonna be here on the Phoenix app and that your fans and um everyone will be able to find out where your next shows are at one stop shop. They'll be able to see all of your work and find out where your shows are and yeah, and find collaborators and stay in touch with everyone. And I'm so excited to see what's next for you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, you too. Thanks a lot. Of course. We'll talk soon. Sure thing.